What's the deal, YouTube family? And we're back with another video, and it's your boy Doobie Does It. And um, today, we'll be busting it down. We're we about, we about to try to take this engine out. Yeah, we're about to try to make it work. We're about to try to do what it do. So, um, what I'll further do is our main goal today. This is coming out. Sorry about the lighting, but this engine has to go. So, anyways, let's get to it. And I know some of y'all are probably wondering, like, well, Doobie. Why are you about to pull the engine out if it, the bike was running perfectly fine? Because I want it in tip top shape and if I'm going to go to the ends of making the bike look good, it also got to run good. Please, it has to. So anyways, I ain't going to do y'all like that with this giveaway and give y'all something with all cosmetics. If you guys haven't already, make sure you enter into the giveaway to win this bike or $500 for second place. Next is uh, getting the chain off and then removing the brake pedal on the other side. Bear with me, I've never done this. Not gonna lie, that was very satisfying. Removing the chain. Well, would you look at that? I never knew it was that easy. I don't know, that, that one looks in pretty good shape. Is it me or is that not in decent shape? Or is that worn out? I, I don't know what I'm talking about. And so anyways, next we're gonna try to remove the stuff on the other side. Let's get it. Let me turn this back around first though. Alright, so after wrestling with the bike for 10 minutes, got it turned around. Next we're going to remove the brake, the brake pedal right here that we will, for y'all who don't know. And then we'll see what clears up from there and see what we can start removing apart. All right, now we're gonna try to drive that nut right there straight through. All right, so I'm gonna be using this and a hammer. All right, so that's good. It's not like seized up and stuff. But for sure, throw grease back on that. All right, so we're gonna jump over to these motor mounts. I don't really know if they're motor mounts, but these brackets on the side. I was going to in the first time, but all we did was remove all those.
believe these are the last two screws I gotta knock out, so I'm gonna try to do that. Next, we're gonna get these two bolts up top right here. Did it? She's loose. I feel like laying a bike will be the easier way to do this, but I mean laying a bike down will be the easier way to do this. But I already took the swing on boat out, so that's not happening. All right, I'm gonna have to remove this. Get it off. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, GT, two turn baby, good hot boy, still with the girls that are cool size, all the niggas love, I am the guy, I don't want the time, I don't want the time, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, All right, so now that we got the engine out, we're actually, I've been looking at this frame on eBay that actually has a title, so I don't have to give you guys a bill of sale, but just in case I can't uh, get that one, I'm not getting this one powder coated, just in case we can't get the other one, I'm still looking into getting it for sure, but um, what color do you guys think? All right, now that we got the engine and stuff out, well, I'm actually going to put the screws back in the frame bolts right here and wherever else I can get them in at so that way I can really want to go. Probably push the swing arm back through so uh, the swing arm bolt back through so I could um, be able to move the bike around. But yeah, let's get it. I'm actually going to put some grease on this. I also have to see about bearings and stuff too because I know pulling stuff apart a lot of this stuff is going to need bearings.
sense now. There's the other side. Uh, this one was on this side. So, now that we got everything in place, I'll probably call it wraps there. Um, the reason why I haven't pulled this carburetor off, I really don't know how I got it off in the first place uh, when I removed it to clean it, but I can't find that tool and I don't want to risk damaging it. So, I'm actually going to get the right size tools or Allen heads, some aluminum cleaner, and a few other things I won't go over a part list right now, but yeah. But like I said before you guys, this bike is up for giveaway, so if you haven't already, make sure you jump in. While the sale is going on, please do. And uh, all the money from the giveaway will be going towards the bike, not just into my pocket, so the sooner we can get it popping, the more better parts we can get on this thing, electron carburetor and stuff like that. Like yeah, I'm trying to go big. I'm trying to, yeah. So anyways, make sure you go to doobiedoesit.com or doobiedoesit.bitcartel.com. Same sure to give a giveaway. Either site will take you to the same place. And um, to all my new subscribers, I really do appreciate you guys taking a chance and hitting that subscribe button to everybody that's been rocking with me. Like I said before, I appreciate y'all. And um, yeah, have a good one. Peace. Standing